Hey, what's up, guys? It's Connor, and today I'm going to be doing another book haul because why not? I was actually sent all of these books from self published authors or from publishing companies, so let's just get started. The first one was sent by Aladdin, which is an imprint of Simon & Schuster. They sent me Keeper of Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. They also sent me a little personalized note, which was very sweet of them. Thank you guys. So basically, this is Aladdin's most popular series, or one of their most popular series. And I think the last book or something just came out. I know I saw some sponsored videos from other people. This is not sponsored. I've actually already read this book. I wasn't a huge fan, so I'm not going to keep it. I'm actually going to put it in my little free library, free little library. I can never remember which way it goes, and someone else can pick it up and enjoy it. This one is about this girl, what is her name? Sophie, at the beginning of the book, she can hear everyone's thoughts and she can hear her family's thoughts. And their family kind of thinks poorly about her sometimes, and that obviously affects her. She then finds out that there's a reason why she can hear everyone's thoughts, and basically she finds out she's an elf. And then she goes off to elven society and is figuring out what is up with all of that. And people are not happy that she has been found or whatever, so drama. <laughs> I actually have the second book sitting on my shelf to read, but the first one was very fun. I enjoyed learning about the magical powers and she has like a schooling situation going on, but I didn't like that she describes herself as the thin blonde surrounded by chubby brunettes when describing her own family. And then there's also a species of being, I think they're gnomes or something like that, and their only tasks in elven society are to do all the crops and I think there's some protective stuff like guards and stuff. They're kind of like subjugated a little bit and I actually had someone comment on a video a long time ago that was talking about why I was so wrong. This series is much beloved. Lots of people love this series. It has a very high rating on Goodreads. Let me find that video and read you what this person said <laughs> when trying to tell me why I was wrong because I thought it was really icky because gnomes are have brown skin and so it was a bunch of pale pasty elves kind of subjugating this brown species of, of intelligent being. Here it is. Okay. The goblins are actually gnomes because I apparently accidentally called them goblins and they literally have nothing better to do with their time and they love being helpful so the elves let them help out. Let them help out. They are brown with green hair because they are supposed to be more plant-like than human-like but they put then, T-H-E-N, so they didn't even use the right word. It is not a racial thing, it is a species thing, since that's so much better. Not helping your argument. I do not think that anything you have said against Keeper of Lost Cities should merit anything less than a four, because I rated it a three, and I don't really care if you're offended. I was like, all right, so that's my history with this book. I don't know if I'm gonna continue because people are very protective of this series, but this copy is not staying in my house. <laughs> As I said, I still have the second book. I just haven't read it yet. Next up, I was sent this one by a publicist friend, Lily, because she moved to Simon & Schuster, I believe. She was like, you like middle grade? Let me know if you want anything. And I said, heck yes, because I would love to read The Remarkable Inventions of Walter Mortensen by Quinn Sosna Spear. I apologize for pronouncing your name wrong. This one comes out in April of 2019, and it follows this guy named Walter, and he runs away with his neighbor and they go on a bit of a quest journey situation and I think it's like a steampunk environment and he has inventions and everything like that. Obviously that is all just from the title but the blurb doesn't give very much away. It just says that together they journey through a strange landscape of fish people, giant, giantess miners, and hypnotized honeybees, an adventure that will not only reveal the truth about Walter's past, but direct his future. I wanted to give this one a go because I love the cover, I liked the premise, and I think I'm gonna enjoy it. So I'll let you guys know what I think when I get to this one, probably early next year. Next up, I was sent a book from a self-published author. She contacted me via email. I thought it sounded really interesting. I think it's pretty interesting as well because she contacted me about her most recent release, or it's coming out soon. Oh my gosh, I cannot open it. And the things that are already set in this world are middle grade novels, but she contacted me about the adult one. I accepted it, and if I love it, maybe I'll read the middle grade that's set in this world. I was sent The Sword of Kaigen by M.L. Wong, which is a Theonite, Theonite, 
war story. Better to die sharp in war than rust through a time of peace. This one follows some characters that are a part of this village and war is slowly approaching their village but they have some personal like small community drama that's been going on and they have to figure that out before the war reaches them. Apparently some of the most powerful people live in this village. They're just trying to figure everything out. I thought that this premise sounded pretty interesting because the war hasn't gotten to them yet and the fact that everyone in this town is pretty powerful on their own. Things could escalate pretty quickly, I'm assuming, and seems that it might also have some family drama involved. I also thought that the magic system of this world was pretty interesting, so there is old magic and then there's new magic and it's kind of the two coming together and causing problems. So I will get to this one soonish. I am currently reading Wrath of Gods by Dirk Ashton, so that's the one that I'm currently making my way through, but I have a couple of other self-published books that I'm trying to also make my way through, so this one will be added to that list. After that, I was sent a package from Penguin. This is A Brave New World, Unimaginable Dangers, The Peculiars Are Coming Back to America. And this one, I guess, is going to have the fourth book in the Peculiar series. I finished the first three. I actually lost interest as I was reading the third one because it had taken me so long to get through them. Where do I cut this thing? How do I get this open? So the book that was in that box is A Map of Days by Ransom Briggs. This is the fourth book in that series. Okay, so this one is actually a continuation. So it does follow the same characters. Jacob Portman is the main character of the original three books. I'm not sure. I will have to check up some reviews and stuff like that because I don't know if I can just jump into this one. It's been a long time since I read the third book. So I'm not sure if I remember all the characters and their different powers. If you guys don't know, this one follows this guy named Jacob. And at the beginning of the first book, he goes to his grandfather's like island where he lived and he finds all of these people that are trapped in a time loop. Well, they're all children and they all have special abilities and they're taken care of by a woman named Miss Peregrine. And then adventure ensues when people are trying to attack them and everything like that. You meet a bunch of other children that also have superpowers throughout the series. I think that people originally had the wrong expectations when going into this series. People thought it was going to be creepy and it's not really creepy. They just have old pictures. So for instance, they'll just have old looking pictures, like it's a woman standing next to a clown, and the pictures weave into the story because there'll be characters that have superpowers that are in these pictures and stuff like that. So it's more of a YA adventure magical journey than it is spooky. Although all of the covers do look pretty spooky. If you guys have read this one, let me know your thoughts. If you think that I should read this one sooner rather than later, if you think I should just skip out, anything you want me to know about this, leave it down below. Help me decide what I wanna do with this book. In that box was this box, so I don't know what is in here. I hope this note finds you somewhere pleasant, ideally in a quiet place with a personal view and a cool drink close at hand. I do need a drink. In the meantime, enjoy this limited edition Viewmaster. It's pretty cool. Yours sincerely, Ransom Riggs. So this is actually one of those things that we had when we were kids, and you hold it up, and then you like move this thing, and it changes the picture, although this is kind of messed up. Let's see if I can make you guys see it. There it is. And so you can just pull the thing down and it changes the image. That's the one that was in the book. So that's pretty fun. Thank you guys. So now I'm actually a little more motivated to, to actually read that book. Again, let me know if I should continue or not. We'll see. Just let me know. I don't know. <laughs> and the last books that were sent to me were sent to me by Tor. This is the I Love Fearless Women box. I haven't looked inside yet. Ooh. So there's a big Victoria Schwab tote bag that says I'm not <laughs> a effing sidekick. That's awesome. <laughs> That's really funny. I like that. And then they have a candle, a fearless women candle. I'm going to check what it smells like in a second, but I just wanted to show you guys that they wrapped them in rainbow colors, which is amazing. <laughs> and then they sent a booklet that I assume has, yeah, it has all the authors in there. There's Victoria Schwab, as well as some information about the books. And they also sent another Fearless Women pen. I can't tell what that smells like. It almost smells a little bit like coffee. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna go with, it's some type of coffee. I'm not sure, I could be way wrong. Ooh, the first thing in here is one of those book things where you can put the book inside of the jacket. What's in here? It's a book bow and it protects your book when you put it in your bag and everything like that. I've actually been wanting to get one of these. Thank you guys, I'll actually use this. I'm actually leaving tomorrow 
to go to Mexico. I'm going because my family left me. They went to Hawaii and I couldn't go because of school. So we're going to Mexico. And I can use this on the way so I don't damage the books that I'm currently reading. <laughs> there are all of the books. I'm gonna start off with red and then we'll make our way to pink. So the first book that they sent me was Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. I think that they said, yeah, this one is signed, which is amazing. Thank you very much. I don't think I have any signed books by V.E. Schwab slash Victoria Schwab. So I'm going to be adding this one to my collection. They sent me a copy of this book already. I am planning to reread Vicious and then jump into Vengeful. So I'm going to put this one on my shelf, read the other copy, and then put that copy that I read into my little free library to, you know, spread the love. If you guys don't know, the first book, Vicious follows two roommates in college in two different time periods. So in college, they want to learn how to give themselves superpowers. And then in the present day, they figured out how to give themselves superpowers and they hate each other and they're trying to kill each other. It is very interesting. Every single person in that book is such a terrible person, but I love reading about them. Vicious is my favorite V.E. Schwab book. So I definitely recommend checking that one out. And then I'll let you guys know what I think about Vengeful when I do reread Vicious and then read Vengeful. So this one is Tomorrow's Kin by Nancy Cress. This is book one of the Yesterday's Kin trilogy. So this one is about an alien landing that happens in the United States. Of course, it's always the United States. They land on a platform in the New York Harbor and then the main character is invited along with the Secretary General of the UN to be the ambassadors to this alien race species. That sounds interesting. I haven't read too many alien books where like aliens come to earth and then it's a huge mess. I'm curious to see how this one is. Next up is Yellow. So they sent me a copy of Updraft by Fran Wild. I think I own this book already. <laughs> Let me go check. I do own this book already. I actually did a book review of this book so I will leave that up in the card symbol if you want to check it out. This one follows this girl and in this world they live on top of these spires made out of bone and the bones continuously grow up so the society has to continuously move up on these different spires. It is some people's jobs to fly around on these different spires from spire to spire using these wings and it is the main character's dream to be a part of of these flying people that fly from spire to spire but something happens where she doesn't get to do that she must become a singer which is the secretive governing body because she breaks the law yeah if you want to know more of my thoughts about this book check out that review because i did read this one after i got it in the last fearless women box next up is green i've been meaning to read this one so this one is autonomous by anna lee knew it. This one follows a character named Jack who is kind of like the Robin Hood of this world. She goes around from place to place and recreates these drugs for people that can't afford the most expensive versions of them. But more recently she came up with a cheap version of a drug so that people could have it but it has had terrible side effects which we don't know if her drug was safe or not. Probably her drug was safe and someone's framing her. The police is on her tail and the police guy, whatever his name is, Elias's with a Z at the end, has a robotic partner named Paladin because this is all about autonomy, autonomous. I think it's figuring out if you can be autonomous in a culture where everyone, even humans, can be owned. I'm gonna actually check this one out soon because this one has been in the back of my mind to look out for for a while now. I think this is on my to read list on Goodreads. So now I have it and I can actually get to it. I don't bring my lights home to film. This is at my parents' house and every single time I film it starts to rain. <laughs> Next up is Blue. So they sent me The Phoenix Empress, which is the second book in K. Arsenal Rivera's series. The first one is called The Tiger's Daughter. I actually have a copy of this book already, so I will be putting this one in my little free library as well. They sent me a copy of this one individually because I requested a copy of the first one a long time ago. I still have yet to read that one. That one is on my like highest priority TBR. It's at school with me. I'm hoping to get to it in between finals. We'll see if that actually happens. But I do want to get to it before the end of the year, and then I want to check out this one. This one follows two warrior women who are fated to be together. They are like badass warrior women, but they're also trying to protect the world from an invasion of these evil beings. I don't want to read the back of this book because I don't want to spoil myself for the first book, but I've heard amazing things from people that I trust, and I cannot wait to get to it. <laughs> Next one is Purple. This one is called The City in the Middle of the Night by Charlie Jane Anders. This is an arc and I can't find a little blurb of it, so I'm gonna find it in that little booklet they sent. So this one is set on a planet named January, and January, the planet, doesn't rotate. So the sun is always hitting specific parts of 
this world and not hitting other parts. So where the sun is hitting, people are able to inhabit, and where the sun is not hitting is like a frigid, ice, unbearable zone. Sophie gets sacrificed or kicked out of society, and she ends up getting saved by people or beasts that live in this icy realm. And then she starts to learn about her society and learn about this world and just grow as a person. It leads her to her true purpose and may change the world. This one actually sounds really interesting because freezing to death is one of my fears. <laughs> so that's why I live in Florida. This one comes out in February next year. And the last book in the Fearless Women box from Tor is going to be pink. And by is going to be it is. <laughs> I always say that in my dog unboxing videos where I'm like, the next thing in here is gonna be, and I'm like, no, it is. It's already in there. This is the next thing. This one is City of Broken Magic by Myra Bolander. I apologize for pronouncing anyone's names wrong. So this one follows this world where the Magi had accidentally created a weapon that they couldn't control, an infestation that ate magic and anything that it touched. The main character has survived in this world longer than most and is a part of a group of humans that are tasked with getting rid of the infestations before they wreak havoc. At the beginning of the book, she ends up becoming the last sweeper and has to protect society all on her own. That sounds terrifying and awesome. <laughs> this is the first book in a series by her, so I'll let you guys know what I think when I do get to it. The paperback is now out, so you can check it out if you're so inclined. So those are all the books that I got this go-round. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any advice for me in terms of which books I should pick up sooner rather than later. Should I read the second book in the Lost series? city? Should I read A Map of Days by Ransom Riggs? Which of the tour books I was sent should I start off with first? Anything you want me to know, leave it down below and I will talk to you guys next time.